Hey guys, this is a quick video of uh, how you can have some fun working with custom brushes that you've gotten online or that you've made yourself. Um, here I'm showing you the starting with the basic brushes, you know, like a basic round brush and how you can tweak that to make your own new brushes. Uh, these are some of the things you can play with to, um, to make new brushes here, like the spacing. Because basically in Photoshop, where you, what you're working with is stamps, you know, like a basic stamp image. So you can adjust that to make little dots or make something that looks like a, a wire or a cable. Or just bring the spacing all the way down to make basic lines, you know. This can be a little heavy on your RAM. But uh, it's, it's worth it, if you ask me. And you can even tweak it, up, tweak it a bit more. Like to make that inking brush that I showed uh, on the other video. And however many modifications you make to your brushes, you can save them out and uh, keep making new brushes. You know, keep expanding your library however however you need to. Okay, and it's going to show up uh, right at the bottom of your, of your brush list. I always like to show the, the thumbnail of the stroke to, to see what exactly the brush does, you know. Couldn't see it before. There it is, all the way at the bottom. Okay. <clears throat> I'm also going to show you some of the brushes that I've made just for random projects that I've done for clients. Like uh, these are some Christmas lights, uh, like uh, techy um, snowflakes. You just make your design and turn that image into a brush and just do whatever, whatever you want with it. You know, that's, that's the great thing about brushes. And here, now I'm going to take uh, a custom brush, something that I've gotten online, and I'm going to tweak that to, to make something new. Once I find it. Oh, here we go. Like one of those scatter brushes, I'm going to... I want something pencil-y that I, that I can use. So I take the scattering all away, remove the angle jitter, uh, tweak the direction of it, here we get something different, you know. I was thinking hmm, maybe I can use this for for shading, like a, like a pencil image, for cross hatching. I'll show you a bit of a quick example of that. Our profile. And this is not 100% accurate, but it's, I'm, I'm getting a very nice result. Like I said, I'm happy with, with what, I'm got, what I'm getting here. And uh, you're, you're the judge of that. You're, you're the one that's going to decide if it's working for you, if you want to keep it, if you want to throw it away. Just remember to save it. You know, If you like uh, the results you're getting, make sure to right click and, and save that new brush. Right there. You right click, click there, give it a new name if you're organized. <laughs> if not, if you're like me, you just, eh, whatever, that's the new bridge. But here I'm just, just for the reference of the video, I'm giving it a proper name. And there it is, at the bottom. I'm gonna take something else. This, this other pastel type uh, brush pastel crayon type brush that I've found that I like to use sometimes. I'm gonna tweak that. That's what I that's what I did for for the graphic novel that I'm that I'm working on. Is uh, I wanted I wanted a, a particular kind of look. I mean I can't really describe it. Because it's, I used it for inking for like the final line art, but it, it looks a bit like a marker, you know. 
it has that, that kind of look. Uh, I, I like it a lot. I, it's, it's a lot of fun working with, with, that, with that brush. It has texture to it. It's, it's not just a regular line art brush. It has a bit of character. Here I'm doing a quick drawing of the main character of the graphic novel, good old McCluck. That's not how I do the walls. <laughs> it's just a quick example of, of how I work with it. And you can adjust the transfer, you know, how much how much ink flows through the through the brush. And here I'm gonna make something a brush that's a bit more painterly. So I went with the wet edges thing. And uh, I like the result. I like how it looks. It looks uh, it, it looks like wet paint. You know, so obviously <laughs> from from that little parameter, but uh, I don't use it that often. I, I just figured let's let's play with that. Let's see what we get. Because the video or the idea for this video is for you to make uh, take what you've gotten online and make something new. You know, don't. Whoa, that was a big truck. Sorry, don't take what what you've gotten and just leave it as it is, you know, make, make new things, uh, play around, explore. That's, that's what I love about working on, on Photoshop and I think you should try it out and make your own libraries and, and uh, just have fun, you know, because you have to be comfortable with your tools and if you're comfortable with what you're working, uh, your, your art is better. I mean, a brush doesn't make you a better artist, it just, it helps you have fun, you know, and it saves you some time when you're, when you're in a crunch. Okay, this is pretty much it for the video. I hope you like it. Stay tuned for more tutorials and uh, have fun. Keep creating and keep creative, okay? Bye-bye.